What's up guys, um, I'm Kathodes and I'm playing Rapscallion. It's an indie game created by Runt Workshop, R-U-N-T Workshop. Uh, it's pretty basic, there's five basic mechanics in the game. Um, there's run, or not run, sorry, there's jump, vault, wall run, wall jump, and ledge grab. And uh, they're, dim they're being demonstrated on the screen right now. If you want to download the beta, it's available free at runtworkshop.com. Uh, there's uh, there's a version available for both Mac and PC. There's no Linux version available right now, but I'm sure that uh, that might come with the full game. There's still a few bugs uh, in the beta. You can see with the wall jumps, uh, you slide down a little bit, and uh, they don't always work right, but uh, that's not really a big deal. Still a pretty fun game. It reminds me a lot of N Plus or uh, Explosion Man for the 360. If you notice on the bottom left, you have a compass with uh, dots on the side, uh, yellow, green, and red. And the closer you get to the object, uh, you'll see the lights start lighting up, like the meter will go. When you pick up Terra Stones, uh, that's going to release a gravity field, kind of like a black hole. And uh, with the gravity field, um, you're going to have to get another Terra Stone to defuse it. And once you get another Terra Stone, it's going to release its own gravity field. Except in the tutorial, for some reason, this one doesn't release a gravity field. Not exactly sure why. I'm sure they'll fix that. And that's pretty much the basics of the game. It is quite hard. Like, even near the end of the beta, I could tell this is going to be a hard game. Um, this game could get kind of repetitive if uh, they don't work it out right. Right now in the beta, there's no story mode. They basically just give you this one level and let you run around in it. I imagine this is going to be like the tutorial level in the full game. Um, but then uh, in the story mode, that, or in the full game, they claim to be making a full story mode with character development and everything. And there's also going to be like a free roam world, which I imagine is going to be kind of like this. Um, there's not really a whole lot to it. Caves, uh, houses, and uh, that's pretty much it on this level. Um, near the end of this level, um, you'll notice that uh, it gets kind of hard with uh, the gravity stones going up. Uh, when we get on the on the giant platform, uh, it's kind of like a crane-like or structure. That's probably the hardest part you're going to find in this level. The physics are also kind of cool. Um, you can see there with the broken glass, or if you go back and look at the broken glass at uh, 249, uh, you can see the physics. Uh, and the that's kind of cool. The graphics are alright. They're kind of cartoony, but I, I like that they have a kind of retro feel. Uh, sounds pretty good. I have the sound muted because it didn't sync up right with perhaps and my uh, computer. The audio was about two minutes shorter than the actual video for some reason. Uh, the video itself goes on for about five minutes. Uh, I'm probably going to stop commentating this soon and just let you guys watch it out. I do, in fact, beat the entire game. But near the end, it's it's pretty close. I have to use the gravity field. Um, to grab the next Terra Stone, which was kind of risky. But that's all for me. Thanks for watching. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. I'd highly recommend downloading this game if you haven't. Uh, Runt Studios or RuntWorkshop.com. Sorry, RuntWorkshop.com. R-U-N-T Workshop.com. If you want to download the beta, and I'll be making more indie game films soon and full games as they come out. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.